Have you ever gone to the store to get a repair part and the clerk asks you for information about an item where you did not have this information? Parts Runner allows you to store this information on your phone. Information such as item type, year, manufacturer, model, model number, and serial number are entry slots where you can store this information. There is also a section where you can add notes. Parts Runner is available on Google Android Play and simply search Baba Rainer Parts Runner to find Parts Runner. Source code is available at GitHub. And all data is stored on your Android phone and not sent anywhere unless you request to send the data to someone like a parts store. Here's a page which lists the directions. You can follow the written directions or view the video. Of course, I have a disclaimer. Basically, I'm an individual developer and although I endeavor to make all my projects behave nicely and would never knowingly ship junkware, I have some resource constraints as a part-time developer, so I just add a disclaimer. To start entering information into the parts runner, you'll notice that it says, please get started adding some vehicles, machines, items by clicking on the button below. And simply click on the button with a plus sign and you'll notice you've got item type list as computer. Click on that little triangle to the right and you notice you got four choices computer, household appliance, kitchen appliance, or vehicle. In this instance I will click vehicle. Don't worry if you want to have another item type that you want to choose I'll show you later on how to change that. Then hit the year button and you'll see scroll down comes down and you can pick a year. In my case I'm going to pick 2010 and the manufacturer I'm going to select Chevy or key in Chevy model will key in Silverado LT71 a model number if you're using a dishwasher or a stove or something or a dryer, you'll probably need a model number. For vehicles, it's usually not needed. Of course, you've got to add your serial number for your vehicle. Now I've entered the serial number, and you'll notice I speeded up the... Uh, video so you didn't have to watch me fat fingering this thing in and I'm going to put some notes here that this has a 5.3 liter engine and once I enter all this information you notice up here at the top right you've got a check mark and that is where you go to save the items I'll click here and so now it's saved and if I want to look look the item up I can go over here and click on the item and it will come up again I can re-edit it if I wish also if I wish I can share it as an email I can share it as a text message or I can delete the item now, since I'm through here I want to show you one other thing that parts runner database does and that is we'll go back to discard any changes and quit editing so I'm going to discard my edit and we'll go back here on the main menu here on the top right I've got a menu item and I click on the menu item and it says edit equipment types I click on edit equipment types and I've got the equipment types computer household appliance kitchen appliance vehicle and you'll notice that if I click on vehicle up will come the vehicle equipment type and if I want to change that I just click in there and I said well I'm not going to call it vehicles because that's too muckety muck and I'm just going to call it cars not cats cars and trucks and then once I've got that typed in I can click done and then oh, I want to save it I save it and you notice cars and trucks comes up 
at the top because it's alphabetical. And then I'm going to go back to my Chevy. And you'll notice the item type now is cars and trucks. One other thing I need to point out is I'll go back to equipment types or edit equipment types. And if I want to delete one of these, I simply can just go over here and delete this item. And it'll be deleted. However, there's one caveat. And that is, if I want to delete cars and trucks, because the Chevy Silverado is already using cars and trucks, it can't be deleted. If I try and delete it, they'll say delete this record, click delete, and then it says unable to delete cars and trucks. In order to delete cars and trucks, you've got to change all the records in a parts runner item table that have an item type of cars and trucks. That is, you've got to change all your vehicles or cars and trucks change them to something else, or if you delete all your cars and trucks, then it can be deleted. Just something to point out. And that's pretty much it for using the Parts Runner a database to store information so you can get your parts to fix your machines.